Heroes in Crisis issue 4 sees Tempest drowning his grief about Wally's death in alcohol, only to be picked up by Donna Troy, who is revealed to also be a member of Sanctuary. Batman and Flash meanwhile canvass the Sanctuary for clues, but cannot agree on whether Booster Gold or Harley Quinn was the murderer of the heroes at the facility. Booster meanwhile is interrogated by Wonder Woman's lasso of truth, which reveals that Harley is indeed the killer. Diana, however, still isn't sure why Booster tried to flee the scene. In Metropolis, Lois has told Clark about the tapes she got sent, but even Clark doesn't know whether Lois should release them, despite Lois saying that if she doesn't, the sender will find someone who will. Barbara Gordon is revealed to be part of the files that Lois was sent, and after showing the Sanctuary camera the bullet the Joker shot her with and crippled her with, Barbara goes after Harley. The two women fight, but Barbara talks down the villain, saying that she can help free herself from the Joker. Thanks to this connection the two once had, Green Arrow and Black Canary want Barbara to track down Harley, and she had better do it quickly, otherwise Dinah will find both Harley and Booster and kill them both. At the Hall of Justice, Booster talks with Ted Cord, who believes that Michael is innocent and knows that they need to fix what happened. Blowing a hole in the hall, Blue Beetle frees his friend and they both head off to discover the truth. An hour later in the Batcave, Wonder Woman smashes Batman's giant coin off its perch in frustration after learning of Booster's escape. Superman decides to tell the others about the tapes that Lois has been getting, but Batman is adamant that there is no video feeds in the sanctuary, but Clark says that he has seen the tapes and knows that they are indeed real, and he has known about them for a few days. Batman is visibly upset about the news, but Clark says that it was shared to him by Lois, who has a source, and between reporters, a source is sacred. Diana asks when the story is going to break, and Clark reveals that he decided to tell them right now since the story was actually broken 32 seconds ago. As the story breaks worldwide that superheroes are treated in a special facility for PTSD, Harley and Barbara Gordon team up. Learning of the story, Barbara knows that this will change the world which is something that Harley is happy about since she thinks the world desperately needs to change. Heroes in Crisis issue 4 was yet another useless compilation of random scenes that didn't further the story in any way. The plot doesn't advance, we've got no more information about who the killers are, what the hell puddlers are, anything like that. Harley and Booster are in the same situations they have been in since issue 1. The Trinity have done nothing since issue 1 and they are no closer to anything at this point, four issues in, and they're still trying to capture Booster and Harley, or even determine if they did it. On top of all that, we now have Lois potentially compromising very sensitive aspects of the superhero community. Someone else has access to this information as well, someone we still have no idea who exactly is. Even after four issues, we should actually know who all the players are. They know all of the heroes' identities, as well as knowing that Lois is married to Superman, which I don't understand what makes her think that leaking parts of it won't stop the source from leaking the rest as well, like the parts she leaves out. Like, nothing is stopping this source from doing that. Also, why is Superman just sitting there and not alerting his friends to the fact that someone has outed all of their secret identities until days after Lois gets them? It's one thing to protect a journalistic integrity, and I can kind of understand that, although it's never been an issue before, especially with Lois and Clark's massive, massive conflict of interest in regard to Superman. It's another thing however to not alert anyone to the fact that their identity may have been compromised and not just their identity but then their loved one's identities and it just builds and builds and builds from there. Harley as a character is also being elevated to this whole god bat sort of status, that sort of bat wank status that we keep continually seeing in this book and it's getting even worse than that whole bat wank stuff. Harley has killed Wally and Barbara is now cozying up to her for no actual reason other than that she had the potential to be good and that the Joker treated both of them poorly, that's paper thin, especially when we know that Harley is a murderer and a suspect in this case. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yet another thing as well, Barbara also now somehow has regressed back to not being able to get over the killing joke again. Like, we kind of got through that and now it's just back to that. I'm guessing this is like the DDO stuff that's coming in. It's really strange, you know, nothing 
between that and what's her current story in the Batgirl comics, you know, none of that never happened. She never got over it or anything, and she's back to, like, regressing back into it, and it's just a huge clusterfuck of an issue. I'm going to give this issue a 1 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.